Hey, it's show and tell. What I'm showing you today is a ball. It's an interesting ball because look how it bounces, right? It's a very, very bouncy ball. Except when I hold it in my hand and rub it a little bit, give it a little friction, look what happens. All right, I didn't fool you with that. I'm not intending to fool you. Of course, I have two different balls. One of them bounces and the other one not. But they are the same size and they basically feel the same. Uh, just as squishy, they have the same kind of, of surface. So what is going on here? It's actually a demonstration of one of the themes that I talk about all the time in lectures, that everything in life depends on molecular structure. And if you have an understanding of molecules and the reactions that they can engage in, you have a pretty good idea of how the world works. So what is the difference between these two balls? Obviously, they are made of different materials, different molecular structures. They're both polymers, meaning that they're both made of very, very long molecules. However, not the same type. In one case, those long molecules are coiled into a ball with lots of crosslinks between them. So that when uh, you drop that ball, those molecules stretch out, but they quickly bounce back to their original shape. On the other hand, with the ball that's dead, those long molecules are not connected to each other. There are no crosslinks. So they can move relative to each other easily and create friction which means that the energy that is now stored in the ball from being held at this height, that is the potential energy, that is converted into the kinetic energy of molecular motion. And basically, if you would feel the ball, you would find that it is warmer. Now you'd have to have pretty sensitive hands to find that, but it indeed would be warmer. So in one case, the molecules are tightly coiled and bounce back to their original shape. In the other one, they're not coiled, they don't have links between each other, so the molecules can move relative to each other. That causes friction, which means heat. So the energy is stored as heat instead of uh, kinetic energy that allows bouncing back. So there you go, the bouncy and non-bouncy balls, and just another illustration of the importance of molecular structure. That for today is our show and tell.